In this video, we're going to talk about a novelty of Guitar Pro 6. We're going to talk about the style sheet. The style sheet is going to allow you to personalize the way your project looks. And the style sheet can be opened by going into the File menu, Style Sheet. The style sheet window allows us to work on five different areas of the score. The first one is the page and score format. This is where you can set the size of the page you're working with. This is useful if you want to print your project. You can also determine the different margins of your project. If I enter a new margin here and I hit the apply button, the new margin is going to be applied to the score directly. The tuning allows you to show or hide the tuning used in the project. The sizes and spacings will allow you to determine the size of these elements and the chord diagrams will allow you to show chord diagrams in your project and determine the size of these diagrams. The second main menu allows you to change the systems and staffs of your project. Any change you make in this window can be seen directly in your project by hitting the apply button. The third window allows you to determine the header and the footer of your score. This menu is divided into three subcategories, the first page header, first page footer, and other pages. This is where you can select any relevant information you want to use in your project. You can also choose the type of font you want to use for each one of these different informations. The fourth main menu is going to allow you to enter all the different texts used in your score, such as the font used for the fret number, the grace notes, for the texts, the chord names, and so forth. The global style for musical symbols will allow you to create a score in the classical way or the jazz way. Last but not least, the notation tab. You might want to hide the tabs when you're using standard notation, or maybe extend the stems and the tabs. The notation tab also allows you to determine how Guitar Pro is going to show the right hand fingering, the left hand fingering, and also allow you to determine how Guitar Pro 6 is going to handle different symbols. Once you're happy with your style sheet, you can save it for later use or load another one to apply to your current project. 